How's it going, everybody? Brian Alvarez here on Wrestling Observer Live. We are here every day, Monday through Friday, noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, Sunday, 3 Pacific, 6 Eastern. It is the prediction show today. Yes, I can't believe it. We're actually doing it. And believe it or not, we're doing it earlier than we did it last year. Last year, we did it on like January 28th or something. But it is time for the prediction show. And it is starting as soon as we come back from the break. So listen carefully because the chat's already trying to mess everything up. Here's how it works. I have in front of me all of the predictions from last year. I will be reading those in the final segment of the show. We actually had a lot of people that did pretty well last year, although there is one that I think sticks out more than the others, but we may have to put that to a vote or something like that at the end. And in the first segment and the second segment, we will be taking your calls, your predictions for 2023. There's two rules. You may not predict anyone's death. That is not allowed, okay? You will be disqualified. And also, try to make your prediction at least somewhat bold. Because what we've learned over the years is, if you're too wacky, you ain't gonna win, okay? But if you predict something too easy, well, if too many people pick something too easy, you're not gonna win. The boldest prediction will win if there's five people that are correct. Now, if you presume that every single solitary person is going to be too bold, you could predict something easy, like WWE will be in business in some form by the end of 2023. You could try that, but you're probably not going to win because we had, you know, six or seven people that were either right on or close last year. And so if you predicted something too easy, you ain't going to win. So it must be bold. Nothing bad. Come on. And, uh, and the phone number I'm going to give you right now, do not call the text message line. The phone number, 844-913-2727. That is 844-913-2727. The phone line's already full, so you're just going to have to keep trying throughout the show. Do your best. Back in a moment to kick it off. Wrestling Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Simber, VB, also WrestlingObserver.com. It is the annual prediction show. And since people have been asking, you must call, okay? If I just take predictions via email and text message and call, I mean, we'll never. There'll be 5 billion predictions. We'll never be able to do this. So you must call. Only the people that get through get to actually enter this contest. Who knows what the prize will be? Last year, platinum ring, baby. I was the winner. Prediction contest 2021 winner. Me! But I did not win this year. But we will get into last year's predictions here in a while. But get on the phone, everybody. The phone number, once again, 844-913-2727. That is 844-913-2727. Just keep calling until you get through. You get one prediction. Make sure you say your name. No predictions of death, and make sure it is bold. And as DJ noted, bold, not dumb. So let's see who our first predictor here is today. To Houston, Texas, you're on the air. Who is this, and what is your bold prediction for 2023? Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is Carlos Building from Houston, Texas. Mm. My bold prediction is that by the end of 2023... Apple TV, in an effort to bolster its streaming library, will buy out a failing Peacock streaming service. Thus, WWE program will feature on Apple TV+. Plus. I want to thank you very much for the call. Apple TV+, Plus, the new home of the WWE Network after the cock is bought out by Apple TV. That's a bold prediction. I like it. That's a good way to set the bar for this show right there. Good job. Paul, you are on the air. What's going on? What's your bold prediction for 2023? Keanu James and Finley Hanley will win. Wait a Anna second. Keith wait, wait, wait. Start over again. First off, Hold this on. isn't Paul. This is Ryan in Cumberland. What's your prediction, dude? Keanu James and Henley, her arch rival, will win the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. All right. I want to thank you very much for that. Not sure how bold that is, but yeah, it's uh, a baby face maneuver. That's what that was. He was trying to to play at your heartstrings with Kiana James holding champion. This this is gold. not about what I think. This is about facts. 
Mm. He'll either get it right or he won't, and he'll either win or he won't. Which, speaking of, brings us to Tara here, who is a former winner of the prestigious prediction contest. Fact. Tara, what is your prediction for 2023? Hi, Brian. Hi, Mike. Thank you for the great introduction. It's my favorite day of the year, and my prediction is Takeshita and Swerve will both win the TNT title this year. Takeshita and Swerve will both be TNT champions before the year is out. All right. I want to thank you very much for the call. People are starting to get a little smarter here. They're, 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 they're not going too far out on a limb anymore. Although, it's funny, I was listening last year, and this happens every year. Everybody has a prediction that isn't too far out on the limb, and it's still wildly inaccurate by the end of the year. Dagan, you are on the air. What's going on, and what is your bold prediction? What's up, guys? It's Dagan from Vermont. My bold and also dumb prediction for 2023 is the former Mandy Rose, Amanda Rose, will debut for Impact Wrestling and win the Knockout Championship. How are you doing, guys? Okay, wait a second. So is that part of the prediction? She will be Amanda Rose? I guess he's gone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him stick to that. Amanda oh, Rose well. Well. will win the win- women's title. And, well, I mean, if she goes and wins a the title, then we'll consider it. But I'm, Mandy Sachs. Yeah, Mandy Sachs. Amanda Sachs. <laughs> All right, let's go to the phones. You're on the air. What is your name, and what is your bold prediction for 2023? Uh, yes, this is Stephen from Yuma, Arizona, and my prediction for 2023 is that Gupta will break hockey's record for longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Gunther will break the record set by the honky tonk man for the longest intercontinental title championship reign of all time. We actually, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's probably done this, but. Can he do that this year? How long was Honky's reign? Is it possible? Is it mathematically possible for that to come true? Hmm. I guess we shall find out. I'll do the math on that while you take the next caller. All righty. Let's go to Austin, Texas. You are on the air. Who is this? And what is your bold prediction for 2023? This is Ray from Austin. And my prediction is that Impact Wrestling will announce a new TV deal that will take place in 2024 that will get them in over 80 million U.S. households. Wow. Impact will make a new television deal that will... that will. Uh... Are you still there? Are you still there, caller? I'm still there. Okay. Is this is this one singular network that is available in over 80 million homes? It is one singular network in over 80 million homes, but it will have a streaming component with it simulcast. Okay. Well, that, that's irrelevant. But thank you very much for the call. That, uh, uh, you know, there are not a lot of options with that uh, one right there nowadays, but uh, duly noted. Oh, by the way, the Honky Tonk Man's title reign, 454 days. To this date, Gunther, 224 so days. So he can do it. It can be done. All right. In 2022 it can be done. It can or three, be done. whatever the year Excellent. this is. 844-913-2727 if you want to make a bold prediction for this year. And we will go to the phones. Who is this, and what's your bold prediction for 2023? Hey, guys, this is Ryan from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and my bold prediction is that former WWE champion, V. Jinder Mahal, will return to the main event picture, and he will wrestle for the world championship in WWE, although he unfortunately will not win. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So he will be hindered. Okay, I got it. Jinder Mahal returns to the main event scene in WWE and fights for the world championship. You know what's funny is I I would not rule out the possibility of Cody becoming champion and one of his first challengers being Jinder. I do not rule that out, but I, I do not think that's going to happen. All right, let's go to the phones. You're on the air. What is your bold prediction for 2023? Who is this? Uh, this is uh, Vincent from Springfield. Uh, uh, my bold prediction is that Hangman Adam Page and FTR will beat the Elite for the trio's title this year. Hangman Page and FTR is a trio will beat the Elite. All right, I want to thank you very much for the call. I like when the caller ID comes up and it's right. 
I like that. Because it's wrong for some reason whenever Ryan calls. Little... All right, let's go to Sunny. Sunnyvale, California, you're on the air. Who is this? What's your bold prediction for 2023? Hello, Brian and Mike. This is Matt from, uh, yeah, well, Southwest California. And my bold prediction is that Will Ospreay will beat Kazuchika Okada to win the G1 this year. Will Ospreay will beat Okada to win the G1 tournament this year. That is your prediction. That's right. All right. I want to thank you very much for the call. You know, it's last year that somebody predicted that Brian Danielson was going to win the G1, and we all thought, oh, man, that guy's a shoe in What an easy winner. Well, let me, let me ask you not. a question here. Is very that quickly, bold yes. enough? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. I mean, he, If but, everyone else is wrong, he wins if that happens. I, I guess. Yes. I don't, I don't know if that was bold enough. Well, we'll find out when we go over last year's predictions at the end of this show. Tim, you are on the air. What is your bold prediction for 2023? This is Tim in Miami. My bold prediction is the 2023 Royal Rumble will be won by Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he will go on to defeat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Tim is always in character. You ever notice that? Steve Austin is going to win the Royal Rumble next week, go on to WrestleMania, and beat The Rock, or I'm sorry, Roman Reigns. Doesn't look like it's going to be The Rock, by the way, for the uh, for the title. All right, we're going to come back with more. Now's your chance to call. All the phone lines are still full. 844-913-2727. That is 844-913-2727. Mike's going to have to do a... Prediction after the break, as do I. Observer Live. Back here for the prediction show. 844-913-2727. We're going to go back to the phones here in a moment. Bold prediction. No predictions of death. You must call. Mike's going to show you how it's done right now. What's your prediction, Mike? My bold prediction will be Shane McMahon makes an appearance in AEW at some point during this year. Shane McMahon makes Shane an McMahon. appearance in AEW. He's in the crowd. He's doing something. Mm. It's a background shot. It's something like that. It's not major. It's not like he's going to be Shaq disappearing in an amb- ambulance or something like that. But Shane McMahon will mm. somehow make an appearance. You know, maybe he'll maybe he'll knock out Tony Nese like uh, Kevin all right. Gates did. I we got to keep this show going, brother. We got a lot of people right. on the line. You Let's know, go. I won a couple of years ago. You know what I should predict this year? That's what you're filling this I, I should have started. I should have done this show two weeks ago and predicted as soon as this Vince comes back, he's going to start cutting guys again. I don't won. But my prediction, sure to lose, is that at the end of this year and the beginning of next year, despite a tumultuous first 20 days, we're going to look back at the end of this year and go, you know what? Turned out all right this year. In fact, turned out pretty good. You're an idiot. That's my bold prediction. You're an idiot. Yeah. I have no faith that that will happen. Let's go to... I lost all my faith in your ability to predict uh, something bold to happen. My God, what happened to you? Marysville, California. You're on the air. Who is this? What's your bold prediction for 2023? Hey, this is Ulysses from Chico, California, and... My bold prediction is that by the end of this year, we will see Triple H, Paul Levesque, and Stephanie McMahon at the helm of a brand new wrestling promotion. Every year. I want to thank you very much for the call. Every year this happens. Last year we had the guy, Triple H will leave and start his own rival promotion. Didn't happen. But you know what? One of these days, somebody's going to have to make the same prediction every single year for like 20 years and then finally get it right. Then did say they called it. Yeah. That's what I hope happens. All right. Let's go to the phones. You're on the air. Who is this? What is your bold prediction for 2023? This is Nate from Harrisburg. And my bold prediction is now that Vince is back with WWE, he'll get back in creative and then he'll give himself the title by the end of the year. God. That's my prediction. He's going to be a two time WWE champion by the end of this year. Uh, Yes, sir. Man, why not? Should have predicted that Prince. End up the champion. Thank you very much for the call. I like our mix of bold predictions and obvious nothing happening predictions today. 
Let's go to New York. Who is this? What is your bold prediction for 2023? So this is Gerard in South Jamaica, and my bold prediction for 2023 is that by the end of this year, Tony Khan will announce a TV deal worth more than half a billion dollars. I want to thank you very much for the call. You know what's amazing about that prediction? That was my prediction last year, and I lost. Well, maybe Queens has got you this year. Well, his timing is probably better, to be honest. More than a half billion dollars. More than $500 million for a television deal. That's a lot of money. Afraid that's bold. (laughs) But you know what? That's what I'm looking for here. Yeah, damn right. Let's go to the phones. You are on the air. Who is this? What is your bold prediction for 2023? This is Philip from Simi Valley, California, and my bold prediction is that at least one episode of SmackDown this year will have a higher rating than their debut on Fox in 2019. Wow. I want to thank you very much for the call. At least one episode of SmackDown this year is going to do a better rating than their debut, which if I recall off the top of my head, because I am a genius, did 3.9 million viewers. Well, I'll tell you what. He didn't put an asterisk on it, and we didn't tell him to. So there may be an NFL game or something like that, a college sports game, something where this man may end up being the winner since we didn't tie him down on technicalities. You know, these nerds on my timeline always like, oh, they can't get back to that $1.2 million that AEW debuted at, $1.3 million. Where'd all those fans go? You realize SmackDown debuted at $3.9 million. And where'd all those fans go? Well, it's called a debut, and this happens for every show. You know where we're going? We're going to go to Bahrain. Bahrain, you're on the air. Who is this? What is your bold prediction? for? Hey, Brian and Mike. This is uh, AJ from Bahrain. Yes. And my bold prediction is that Eddie Kingston is going to be the one to dethrone MJF. And it's going to happen uh, in Eddie's hometown, Queens, New York, at AEW Grand Slam. But then MJF will win it back. We'll win back the AEW World Championship from Eddie Kingston at full gear. In a match with a stipulation. This is it. Now, that's wow. what I'm talking about. I want to now, thank you very much for the call. That's what the Will Ospreay guy was missing. If you're going to give us something, then you got to give us a little more behind it to make it bold. I like that. I just was, was, uh, I, it was like, I don't think Eddie Kingston is going to beat MJF for the title at Grand Slam, but that it's prediction bold. is bold enough as it is. Then he kept going. What? Hell, then it's at uh, full gear. He's going to win it back. There's going to be a stip. He should have added the stip while he was at it. Hey, because that's bold. I mean, just saying somebody's going to beat somebody for a title ain't bold. It's Come pretty on. bold to think that Eddie Kingston's the one who's going to dethrone Will MJF. O- you, you let Will Ospreay winning the G1 go through. I mean, come on. That's not that bold at all. It's Will not Ospreay that bold can, at all. Well, yeah. Exactly. I, I let him go through, but we'll see who wins. Let's go to uh, Greensburg, allegedly. You're on the air. Who is this? What's your bold prediction? Uh, Hello, my name is Brandon uh, from Pittsburgh, and my bold prediction is that Rhea Ripley will either win the U.S. Championship or the Intercontinental Championship by the end of 2023. Wow, so they're going full China with her. She's going to win a men's title in WWE in 2023. That's bold. I should have added she'll win it from Jericho. (laughs) That's bold. All right, let's go to beautiful Garden City. You're on the air. Who is this? What is your bold prediction? This is Don from Garden City. My bold prediction. Dave Meltzer will win the Cluster F at Joey Janela's Spring Break 7. <laughs> wow. You know, you know what's funny about that prediction? I want to thank you very much for the call. What's funny about that prediction is it is bold. They, 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 they... I don't want to say they've directly asked him, but I knew I know that Joey Janelle has been interested in having him in that match. Dave's not going to do it, but uh, you know if he agreed to do it, he'd probably win. So maybe what you need to do is get in touch with Dave, offer him one half of your ring if you win. All right, let's go. How much to, did you turn down? Let's. I've never been asked. Let's go to Portsmouth. Who cares about me in there? I wrestle all the time. You're out of the Ooh. air. What's going on? Hey, this is. <laughs> Hey, it's Brandon from Portsmouth, and my prediction is by the end of 2023, Roxanne Perez will be SmackDown Women's Champion, and she will have beaten Charlotte for the title. So Roxanne's mm. going to get called up, beat Charlotte 
win the SmackDown women's title. All right, excellent yeah. prediction, my Not friend. Bad. I like a it. A lot of details in that one. I like a lot of details. And you know who's going to have a lot of details? Who's that? And quite frankly, should inevitably be the winner of the contest? Who? Is this man Jesus, according to my caller ID? You're on the air. What's your bold prediction for 2023? So my bold prediction is that we'll get Cody Rhodes as a Royal Rumble winner. He'll advance to WrestleMania. He'll beat Roman Reigns. He'll have a run with the OC. AJ misses the Rumble, comes back from being injured, and we'll get a one-on-one match, AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes for the World Heavyweight title. And who wins? Cody goes over because I think AJ has to put Cody over. All right. I want to thank you very much for the call. Yeah, that's one that was a lot of details, but was it that bold? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. We'll find I out the we'll omniscience out. of Jesus. I thought his prediction would be, I'll return! Let's go to Rad Ford. You're on the air. What's going on? Hey, it's Don the Don Rossberger. And uh, my bold prediction for the year is that chaos is going to reign supreme in the World Tag League. And they're going to field a team of Orange Cassidy and Toru Yanu. I want to thank you very much for doing the gimmick I asked for earlier, which is to keep making the same prediction every year until you win. <laughs> thank you, Don the Don. God bless. From Radford. <laughs> Let's go to Woburn. You're on the air. Who is this? What's your bold prediction for 2023? Going once. Going twice. My bold prediction is you'll get through again next year, my friend. Oh, did I push the wrong button? Oh, man, I may, have <laughs> I may have screwed that poor guy. That was my fault. I'm sorry. See you next year, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, no. Call back immediately. Call back right now while I'm taking this one from uh, Woodside, New York. You're on the air. What's your prediction for 2023? This is Mike from Queens, New York, and I predict that Cody Rhodes, while under a WWE contract, will appear on AEW programming. Cody Rhodes, while under WWE contract, will appear on AEW programming. Like in the ring? Yeah. Uh, uh, probably a backstage segment. Not like a... Not not some sort of like past segment. They're not going to show, but it'll be a new segment for AEW. He'll appear while under a WWE contract. All righty. I want to thank you very much for the call. Interesting. Definitely Interesting. bold. That is bold. You know what I think I can do here? I try something. Yeah. Was it Woburn that I hung up on? No, you just took Woburn. Who did I hang up on? Uh, who was Somebody in the chat tell me who I hung up on. I'm going to call him back. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi called that person back during the break, but... They hung up on me, so I don't feel so bad now. That was a issue. I apologize, but we're going to take a, a couple more here, but then I have to go through last year's predictions because we got a chat. There was a lot of hits and near hits. We got to figure out a winner, so uh, let's do a few more here. Let's go to Hack and Sack. You're on the air. Who is this? What's your bold prediction for 2023? This is uh, Anthony now from Jersey City, and my bull prediction is Wardlow will defend the TNT Championship at All Out against Bill Goldberg. Wow, Wardlow will defend the TNT title at All Out, meaning he has to win it against Bill Goldberg. That's like a that's like one of those bold predictions that you could actually see happening, but I don't think it's going to happen. But we'll see. Let's go to uh, Cleveland. You're on the air. Who is this? What's your bold prediction for 2023? Hi, this is Matthew from Cleveland, and my bold prediction is Kota Ibushi will win the AEW title by the end of the year. Kota Ibushi to be AEW champion by the end of 2023. What's so funny, mm, Mike? No, I didn't say anything was funny. Well, you laughed. I mean, that's an indication you I, found something I, funny. I did not laugh. I took a breath, Brian. Mm, you see, you Calm down. Wait, wait, wait like I wins. I'm going to make you buy the trophy. <laughs> What? Let's go to Brentwood. You're on the air. Who is this? What is your bold prediction for 2023? Brian, this is Mike from Buffalo, and I'm calling to predict that uh, I do think Saudi Arabia will buy WWE, and because of that, 
Sami Zayn, we will have our first ever trade in wrestling. Sami Zayn traded to AEW for CM Punk. He'll be, CM Punk will be on WWE. He'll be traded. I'm trying to come up with something bold, Brian. This has been like the craziest year. Yes, oh, it has been. been it has been. That would be a first if there was a trade between AEW and WWE. I want to thank you very much for the call. A trade. All right, one more here. Last one. You are the main event predictor here on this program. Who is this, and what is your bold prediction for 2023? All right, Brian, Mike, this is Brian in Round Rock, so I'll make this quick. I've got it specific for you because we're all about specifics on the prediction show, right? Yes. So not only are we going to have the first ever women's main event in AEW, we're going to have the main event be Jamie Hayter, Versus Britt Baker for the AEW Women's Title, and it will be at All Out in 2023. The All Out main event. Wow. That's the All Out main yeah, event. Fair. Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker for the AEW Women's Title. Wow. All Tell right. you what. I want to thank you they, very much for the call. They could do it. They could do it. They take a lot of build, but you know what? They could absolutely do that. Hey, listen, I want to thank everybody for calling in today. Uh, over over 2,500 attempts to get through here today. And uh, we got as many as we could on the air. But now it's time. We got to go back through last year's predictions. Who was a prognosticator and who was a fool? And, uh, and we need to have a little chat here as well. Because uh, we did uh, better than usual last year. So here we go. Ryan and Cumberland got through first last year, and he predicted that Paul Heyman will marry Kayla Braxton. He was wrong. Dagan predicted Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega would face off in AEW. Wrong. And when you think about everything that happened with Kota Ibushi last year, who could have ever thought? Tara predicted, and here's another one. Tara predicted Cody Rhodes would break the stip and win the AEW title with a pedigree. And it was only like a month later. He left AEW and he went to WWE. And the funny thing is, he may win the WWE title with a pedigree this year. Incredible. Win Jammer predicted that Jerry McDivitt would retire and his law firm would not defend WWE in the MLW lawsuit and Vince would hire Constantine Kairos instead. <laughs> Wrong. But it's funny, that MLW lawsuit's still outstanding over a year later. It's still out there. Eddie correctly predicted that an NXT 2.0 show would sell over 3,000 tickets to an event. And if you watched NXT 2.0 last year, when it first began, that was a pretty bold prediction. Now, I did ask him, is this like a normal show, or is this like they bring in all of the talent from the main roster and everything like that? He said it had to be a normal show. But it did take place over WrestleMania weekend. So I'll let you guys determine if that was bold enough. Steve predicted Roman Reigns would hold the Universal title all year. He was correct. Was that bold enough? Nick predicted that this year, Keiji Muto would finally lose to Kato Kiyomiya, which in fact did happen. Kiyomiya beat him via submission on July 16th. Was that bold enough, Mike? Because you doubted it was bold enough when he made it last year. <laughs> well, technically he won. I don't know if he was any better off for it. but <laughs> Brandon predicted that Austin Theory would win money in the bank and would be a WWE champion by the end of the year. Close, my friend, but wrong. And keep in mind, Vince had already hitched his train on TV to Austin Theory at the time, so how bold was that, in fact? Otis P. Stink Trigger <laughs> predicted the AW video game would come out last year. It still hasn't come out. 
and its Metacritic scores would at least double WWE 2K, which was wrong. Nathan predicted Ali Catch would beat Jeff Jarrett in a good housekeeping match. Was wrong. Lewis predicted Colt Cabana would become the TNT champion. Whoa! You hear something like that, and it's like, wow, look what happened this year. <laughs> that was wrong. That was wrong. Now, this one's kind of a maybe. Pierce predicted that we would see an AEW WWE crossover on TV in 2022. Now, there was a uh, John Cena, congratulations, 20 years, Raw, Delia Bob. And there were a couple of AEW guys that had videos, like congratulating him and everything like that. Uh, so, I mean, like Chris Jericho was on Raw. That happened. It was a it was a congratulations to John Cena, but like nobody was in the ring or anything like that. So, uh, what do you guys think about that one? We have got Mike Sempervivi predicting Chris Dickerson Dickinson will beat John Moxley for the GCW title and would then lose it to Atticus Kogar later in the year. Wrong in so many ways. That was very very wrong, Mike. Very wrong. Very wrong. Ooh. Producer Dom. Producer Dom predicted AEW would go on a multi-week West Coast tour, sell out every venue. Now, they did have a two West Coast shows, June 1st and 3rd. They both sold out in L.A., but it was not a multi-week tour. So I would say close, but uh, he did pretty good, though. Pretty good, Dom. Brian Alvarez predicted... AEW will get a new TV deal before the year is over. It will more than double the money from its previous deal. Wrong. I can't even get the goddamn thing on. Wesley predicted Hangman would make it the entire year as AEW champion. Boy, did he not. He did not. Ryan predicted Byron Leftwich of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would appear on AEW TV and punch Dan Housen in the face. What a horrible prediction. Really? And wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Matt predicted 2022 All Out. Keith Lee will defeat the Hangman for the AEW title. Wrong. It was very, what very wrong. What a night wrong. all out, huh? What a crazy night. Adi predicted Triple H would leave WWE and start a new promotion or take over. Wrong. There it is. Yeah. Not take over WWE, by the way. It was take over whatever promotion he went to. That was very wrong. He actually came back and took over WWE for a while, then got ousted again. I understand I shouldn't say ousted, but uh, I guess he's not ousted at the moment. Uh, Nick predicted by the time the year is over, Sean Waltman will be the AEW TNT champion, accepting an open challenge, winning the belt, and would be signed to AEW. Wrong. Derek predicted Dan Housen would appear in a TV show as a guest, TBS or TNT. Wrong. Don the Don Rossberger. <laughs> I can actually do his voice this year. Predicted Dan Housen will team with Orange Cassidy and Yano and win the six-man never open weight titles. That was wrong. <laughs> Rick, the guardian of chaos, predicted Paul Heyman would be all elite. Wrong. Matt predicted all three of the New Day would be all elite and win the tag team titles. Wrong. And man, no one could have seen what happened to Big E. Wow. Ken predicted Tegan Knox will be the next AEW Women's Champion. Incorrect. Tony predicted Dynamite would beat Raw in the ratings and total viewership twice. Wrong. Ray predicted one of the Owen Hart Cups would be won by one of the members of the Dark Order. Wrong. Coach Walton predicted in the middle of a gym class at his elementary school with kids screaming in the background. <laughs> That MJF would not step foot in an AEW Rampage ring for a match, a segment, nothing, all year long. And he was correct. Dalton predicted Jungle Boy was going to be a triple champion this year. And he was wrong. Cookie predicted Tiffany Stratton would be successful at XT, debut on the main roster. That was wrong. 
Andrew predicted someone currently signed from AEW would appear in the Royal Rumble that year. Wrong. Dan predicted NXT would be absorbed to the main roster, would not exist by the end of the year. Wrong. Alex predicted Braun Breaker would debut on the main roster and win a major title. Now, he did show up, and he beat Dolph Ziggler to win back the NXT title. But I don't know about that one. Nah, no, and no, I'm, I'm two years away from owing $1,000. And then Josh predicted Brian Danielson wins the G1, which is wrong. Now, we got a lot to talk about here. These are the ones that I would say are arguable. The AEW-WWE crossover on TV in 2022. We did have active AEW wrestlers giving tributes to John Cena on Raw. We had uh, Braun Breaker debuting on the main roster. And winning a title, which, in fact, he kind of did. But it was not like a full debut. He just showed up to get some pub and win that belt back. And uh, Dom with the multi-week tour that sells out every venue. Those are those are arguable. So I, I think we kind of have to write those off, right? Arguable ones? Yeah. Now, the ones, so. there, there are four that were exact. NXT selling over 3,000 tickets to a show, which they did do over WrestleMania weekend. Roman Reigns not losing the title all year long. I don't think that's bold enough. I don't know about the rest of you. KG Muto finally losing to Kaito Kiyomiya. And MGF not appearing one single time. We had Punk and Moxley and tons of big stars. He never appeared one time on Rampage. So I'm going to throw these these, uh, four up. And we're going to have you guys vote on my Twitter. So go quick. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. I'm going to let this poll run here for about another two minutes, but uh, there is one that is running away with it right now with 66.2% of the vote, now 68.4% of the vote. I mean, Mike, what, what would you say? I would say MJF never being on Rampage. Yeah. I mean, I I don't want to skew the vote, but that's that's my... Because you know what? It's like he was never on the show. He didn't have a match. He didn't do a promo. The guy that predicted it was very specific. It was going to be MJF, and he was never going to make any appearance whatsoever on Rampage over the course of a full year. 52 episodes, 52 hours. Think about the guys that just showed up to do a promo for a match that was coming up on, on Wednesday yeah. or or anything. He was never there. I think that's actually a great prediction, personally. And it seems, looking at the uh, chat here, that uh, yeah, a lot of MJF, MJF, MJF. Yeah. Plaque that man, Brian Alvarez. MJF. Plaque that man. Man, he can hang that in the gym with all those kids as well. MJF. Pretty bold, this person says. DJ DJ doesn't think it's bold because it's Rampage. But, man, we had, like, Punk was all over Rampage and Moxley's all over Rampage and the Jericho Appreciation Society is on Rampage. I mean, Britt's been on Rampage. Like, all the big stars have been on Rampage. He was never on Rampage. Never there. That was even after they said, remember, we're going to put a new renewed push behind it because the ratings and this and that, and he still has never been on Rampage. Well, with uh, one minute left, or 500 votes here, NXT sells over 3,007% of the vote. Roman doesn't lose the title, 21% of the vote. Mudo does the job, 7% of the vote. And your winner of the 2023, 2022 prediction contest, MJF never appears on Rampage. Coach Walton, get to me with your info. You're the winner. Salute. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk to you again after a while.